Hi, my name is Ollie Joffrey and this is Book Talk. The book I will talk about today is called Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. It is the first of six young adult books recommended to be PG-13. This story is about a 16-year-old boy named Jacob, after facing a hor- horrific family tragedy, journeys off to a remote island off the coast of Wales, where he discovers the crumbling ruins of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. After spending some time there and getting to know the people who inhabit that crumbling ruins, he realizes that they may have been quarantined on a desolate island for a good reason. It is a great book for people who enjoy mystery, suspense, and thriller. That's all I have for you on this book. Join us next week. Hey guys, welcome to Roving Reporter, where I will be asking one person from my bubble, grade 10, to a, like fi- a series of five questions and we see how many they can get right and yeah we continue that for the rest of the year every week we'll have a theme this week is just general knowledge okay let's get started okay hi guys today i'm here with doreen hi which class are you in 10a okay So I'm going to ask her a couple of trivia questions and let's see how many she can get right. Okay, Doreen. What country was the Olympic Games invented? Greece. Correct. Okay. Who painted the Mona Lisa? Leonardo da Vinci. Yes. What's the largest planet in our solar system? Jupiter. Correct. How many countries are in the UK? How many, what? Okay, um, five. Close. Oh, six? Mm-mm. It's four. Uh, you were close, though. Okay. Okay. How much is a dozen equal to? Twelve. Correct. She got four out of five. Let's see if next week anyone can beat her. Good job. Hello, everyone, and welcome to history. Today, we're going to talk about shoes. Experts hypothesized that shoes were invented around the Middle Paleolithic period, around 40,000 years ago. A few thousand years from that was the beginning of modern footwear. In Europe's early Baroque period, women's and men's shoes were very similar. The fashion materials, though, differed among social classes. For common folk, heavy black leather heels were the norm and for aristocrats, the same shape was crafted out of wood. In the 1800s, women's and men's shoes started to differ from one another. During the Great Depression, black and brown shoes dominated the American markets. Though men's shoe styles remained relatively unchanged following World War II, women's shoes made another drastic alteration in their appearance. Women's shoes were now arched, sophisticated, and made to highlight the foot. Nowadays, shoes are made for mood, style, comfort, or anything else. Thank you for watching History, and I hope to see you all next week. (laughs) Welcome to Jokes of the Week with Ali Joffrey. You want to hear a roof joke? The first one's on the house. (laughs) A cement mixer and a prison bus crashed on the highway. A police advised citizens to look out for a group of hardened criminals. (laughs) I couldn't figure out why the baseball kept getting bigger. Then it hit me. (laughs) Why did the taxi driver get fired? Passengers didn't like it when she went the extra mile. (laughs) (laughs) That's That's all I have for you today, and I hope you have a great week.